It was demanded to get longer and more extensive and more in-depth, more thorough WWE rumors, news, and headlines, and that's what you're going to get on the weekends where we give you gimmick news number one, and hopefully this is a series that will continue and last and continue to be setting the path because we got a huge topic to talk about and you know sometimes in these videos we'll talk about numerous topics we'll talk about one topic but for this one a huge wwe 205 live star arrested updated with police details and of course wwe also putting out a statement on rich swan absolutely shocking developments Hours ago this morning, we heard of the news. According to Wrestling Inc., earlier this morning, here on Gimmick News, number one, and remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments if you agree with these longer extended videos of Gimmick News. Early this morning at 12.09 a.m. in Gainesville, Florida, not to be connected with AJ Styles at all, 205 Live Star under the WW umbrella, Rich Swan was arrested and charged with kidnapping and false imprisonment, adult, a third degree felony in Florida that is punishable up to five years in prison and a $5,000 fine. If convicted, Swan would also be charged with battery, including uh, touching or strike, a first degree misdemeanor that is punishable with up to one year in jail or 12 month probation and a $1,000 fine if convicted. Now, this kid is talented courageous, um, you know, he's got the skill, he's got the aura, but obviously he doesn't have the sense in the brain because we know that the WWE has a zero tolerance for anything to do with matters such as this, and that's why the WWE's went ahead, and I'm going to assume that down the line, the WWE is going to have to fire Rich Swan, and this is going to have to be dealt with face on, head on. The report goes on to sway, say that Swan is currently being held in uh, a county jail where his mugshot was released. The former Cruiserweight champion was scheduled to face Drew Gallick uh, at the episode of Monday Night Raw in the number one contender spot, the winner would go on to face the Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Enzo. Uh, working in a number of promotions since 2008, Swan was signed by WWE in October of 2015 and worked in the Cruiserweight Classic in 2016. He won the Cruiserweight Championship by defeating Brian Kendrick on the premiere episode of 205 Live and has made regular appearances on Monday Night Raw. So obviously this is a huge king in the armor. This is not something the WWE likes to deal with. It's it's a very messy, very messy, sketchy situation here on Gimmick News. Remember, leave your comments below if you like the title of this, Gimmick News. Or do you think I should name it something else? But since we've already started this off, since we've already kicked it off, I think we're going to stick with Gimmick News. Because it, it makes sense to do Gimmick News because you know how they ask, what's your gimmick? What kind of character are you? You know, what is your gimmick development? You know, what's your gimmick all about? Well, this is what it's all about. This is gimmick news. And like I said, this guy, you know, he had the future ahead of him. It's been a roller coaster ride. I mean, it was a little bit bumpy before this. Make no mistake about it because if you go on the track record, if you go on the history, but with this WWE 205 Live Star being arrested, I don't think that the, this could actually do good for the Cruiserweight division because it's getting a lot of people talking about it, but it could also be a huge letdown. I mean, this could paint the WWE Cruiserweight division. I mean, this could lead, let's let's be honest here, because we know how the WWE can be kind of soft these days and, you know, the WWE is very careful what they put out and what they, and what they you know, send out and what they do and how they orchestrate things and how they plan things. I mean, this could halt the entire momentum of 205 Live because, as we all know, Rich Swan had a big to-do with 205 Live. I mean, he was one of the masterpieces. He was one of the centerpieces. I mean, this is almost paled in comparison to if you say you went in the 80s or the 90s and a, a Hogan or a Warrior was arrested. What do they do? Well, they go to the next man up. But with the, the Cruiserweight division not really being so relevant and not really so many people being in tune with it, which I'm very surprised the WWE wants to go on the road with 205 Live. That interests me. That, that, that kind of strikes me as why would they do that when they send out a survey asking, why aren't we watching 205 Live? Well, you know what? Now you got WWE 205 Live star arrested, updated with police report details in Gainesville, Florida, and Rich Swan potentially, possibly one of the last superstars, one of the last guys that you would think would be, you know, in jail, would be detained, and would be having something this sustained. And viewers and subscribers, there is no in-between. This is the brash and brazen Sean's view entertainment to keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. And like I said, this was shocking to me. I mean, a, a lot of my viewers and a lot of my subscribers said, Sean, why don't you bring this up? This is breaking news. Well, once again, I wanted to do on the weekends, on starting Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, when there's any developments, any news, rumors, or headlines, I wanted to bring it to you, and I wanted to give you my thoughts and my opinions. And like I said, this could be a blessing in disguise for 205 Live, because once again, everyone's going to be like, oh my God, what's going to happen next in the division? What's going to be, is, is, is it promising? Is it deterring? Is it taking away from 205 Live? And once again, viewers and subscribers, 
this guy, you know, was probably going to be ready for a push. The WWE had a lot of stock in him. The WWE put a lot of time into them. I mean, even though 205 has their own show, even though they're going on the road, they even dedicate time to these guys on Raw. And with the WWE having so much high interest and emotion and, and stock in Rich Swan, and then for something like this to develop, and once again, I wasn't there. I'm just going by what I read, what I see online. It doesn't matter. Your ace your age, your race, your color, your origin, I don't care what you are, this is obviously, you know, not something good, I mean, this this is very drastic, as they say, drastic time calls for drastic measures, here on Sean Dream Damon, where it's called Gimmick News, for those of you who don't know, and I hope you like the name Gimmick News, because I mean, and like I said, it makes sense that I call this Gimmick News, because once again, what's your gimmick, what's the WWE's gimmick, what's a certain superstar's personality, well, this is all about personality here on Sean Dream Damon, it's all about perseverance, and even with all the troubles and everything deterring me from YouTube and getting lost in the shuffle, and, you know, me, you know, my channel, my channel kind of being lost in the shuffle, and let's call it spade of spade, it is, and YouTube not sending out my videos, and you not being updated, and that's why it's very important, very crucial to, you know, refresh my YouTube channel multiple times a day, every single day, share, subscribe, and smash that bell, but I don't want to make this about me, I don't want to make this about my channel, I just hope that this video gets out to my viewers and my subscribers, and the fact that it showed a mugshot, and the WWE, you know, they went on this quickly, I mean, the WWE didn't waste any time, because, you know, once again, the WWE doesn't want to see themselves painted in a negative light. Just like when a WWE talent fails a wellness policy, whether, you know, drugs or enhancements or whatever it may be, the WWE has to take action. So the WWE did take action. And once again, I'm not taking anything away from Rich Swan's ability in the ring, but what he does in the ring and what he does outside the ring is also a representation of himself and not only himself, but the WWE. So Rich Swan now has to start from the bottom up. And I don't know if the WWE will ever give him a chance or, or give him an opportunity because now this forces the creative team to come up with something even more compelling and more captivating. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on, on, you know, oh, well, we, we got 205, we got people talking about 205 Live, but not the way that the WWE thought they would. Obviously, the WWE didn't want this light painted for 205 Live where a star is arrested and updated with police report details. It's not something the WWE wants to dig into, and viewers and subscribers, um, the Gainesville Police tweeted out that Swan's mugshot in the police report due to the numerous national media reports. According to the report, the victim was a pro wrestler, obviously we knew that. He was driving a car and apparently began uh, critiquing Riggs' performance at a wrestling show earlier in the night. Swan was said to get angry at, uh, and Riggs got scared that the argument was going to escalate and eventually jumped out of the car. The report continues that Swan stopped the car in traffic, yelled to her to return, and ended up putting her in a head in a headlock and dragged her back to the vehicle. One witness said that Riggs was scared and yelled for help as they drove away. Another witness said that the car stopped in traffic, wasn't placed into park, and rolled until it hit a telephone pole. Riggs said Swan had a temper sometimes and felt that the argument was going to escalate into physical violence and that's why she left the car. Swan said he didn't physically touch her and just wanted to get home because her phone had the GPS on it. According to the report, they have been together for five years and married for nine months. And you can read the article below. Like I said, viewers and subscribers, I'm not going to give a whole view and a lot of stance on this. Even though this is more in-depth and more thorough and you get more my vision, my view, my analysis and what I see, what I read, what I feel and what I think. But what I think I said, I think this is just a horrible incident for everyone involved. Like I said, we cannot take anything away from Rich Swan, but if he did what he did, and this is true, it's sick, it's twisted, and it's not something you want to read about, it's not something you want to talk about, but it's something that's in the news, it's something that's making waves, and you know what, viewers and subscribers, we could, you know, spin this any other way, but at the end of the day, the WWE had to release them, and you know, everyone's saying, oh, well, the WWE should have waited, the WWE should have done this, the WWE, no, listen, the WWE is in a tough spot, it's like a rock and a hard, what are you going to do, how are you going to go about it, because then that would make the WWE look bad if they didn't act on this, and if they didn't say, all right, well, Rich Swan suspended, or fined, or, or fired. I was expecting the guy to, 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 quite honestly, I thought he was going to be fired. I thought he was going to be gone, but instead the WWE going the route, and once again, we're going to give you the most latest up-to-date details here on the Brash and Brazen Sean's View Entertainment. Subscribe, comment, and share. Um, but yeah, the WWE did give a statement on Rich Swan's arrest. And WWE has a zero tolerance for matters involving uh, domestic abuse. And per a policy, Rich Swan has been indefinitely suspended following his re his request. Now, according to PW Insider, WWE also issued the following on their official website. And once again, the WWE had no other alternatives. Now, not to make you know light 
more of the situation, but just like Rich Swan's hands were tied behind his back and handcuffed, the WWE's hands were handcuffed. Their arms were on the, behind their back because at what point, what do you do? How do you go about this? And now the WWE has even bigger problems now because, well, well, this isn't really a bigger problem in the long run, but development-wise, character-wise, storylines for their company-wise... You know, now they're going to put this under the cup carpet. Now, now they're going to issue something on their website. Now they're going to change up creative for the Cruiserweights. Like I said, viewers and subscribers, this could end up being something good for the Cruiserweights, but ultimately it could end up being something very terrible and very bad. Let's just hope that it goes, you know, you know, you got to take the good with the bad. And you know what? I guess Rich Swan can, you know, take souls in the fact that he is not fired. Now, if more developments and more details come out, he definitely could be not only suspended, but fired and fined. And this thing could morph into something the WWE doesn't want to get their hands in. Something that the WWE doesn't want to be involved with. And can you blame the WWE for not wanting to look like the bad guy? Because the WWE didn't tell Rich Swan to do this. The WWE didn't want Rich Swan to do this. The WWE had high hope for this kid. They wanted him to go long. They wanted him to go strong. They wanted to, Rich Swan to perhaps become the next Cruiserweight Champion of the World for the second time in his short WWE tenure. But now something like this has happened. You want to talk about a kink in the plans. You want to talk about a kink in the armor. That's exactly what has happened with Rich Rich Swan, right here on Sean's View Entertainment. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a third degree felony in Florida that is punishable with up to five years in prison and now a $5,000 fine. So, see, this story, as I'm even doing the video, is unraveling and is updating. If convicted, Swan also charged with battery touching or strike a first degree misdemeanor that is punishable up to one year in jail, which we talked about earlier. And the mugshot has been released. Uh, you know, uh, and, and, you know, Swan was said to get angry and Riggs got scared that the argument was going to escalate. And obviously, as you can see, two eyewitnesses fled, uh, excuse me, filed what they saw in the police report below, which gives the full details on what happened. And viewers and subscribers, the fact that this is a current WWE superstar, a current mainstay, a current guy that the WWE was interested in pushing further. And now the bottom has, has fell out. Because something got in the way, something got out of hand, and you know, you know, people got rambunctious. You're in the moment. You, you know, you're doing things that you don't think you, you, you know, you may not know is right or may know is right, but you're just reacting on on emotion. And sometimes, you know, the emotion can get the better of you. And there, there are situations where this kind of things happens. So, viewers and subscribers, once again, um, you know, if there's any more details or developments or breaking news on the Rich Swan arrest, a huge 205 live star has been suspended from World Wrestling Entertainment. Once again, I hope you enjoy and like the longer videos of Sean's Entertainment. And once again, also in these videos, if I get some comments and questions and feedback, I'll also do shout-outs. I want to make this a very completely interactive experience for the subscribers, with the subscribers. But once again, I can't do this without your help, without your views, without your comments, and without your questions. And sharing my videos all over Facebook and Twitter would mean the absolute world to me. But what I want right now, what I'm interested in, what I'm invested in, is what is the WWE going to do moving forward? Who's going to be the number one contender? How's the WWE going to take care of the situation? Your comments and your opinions... Subscribe for more gimmick news on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays where we run down in an extended, longer version of rumors, news, and headlines along with your questions, your comments, and your feedback. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, your shoutouts. More to come from the Brash and Brazen, Sean's View Entertainment. I will not be overtaken. Stay tuned for plenty more breaking news throughout the week, each and every week, multiple times a day. The number one entity in WWE talk is right here. The resilient Sean's View Entertainment. Subscribe.